Three types of gear impellers are used in rotary gear pumps. Spur, helical, and herringbone. Spur gear impellers are generally used because they're cheaper to buy and to maintain. The other two, helical and herringbone, provide a smoother transfer of power that results in a smoother fluid flow. They're also found in larger pumps, which handle large volumes and operate at higher speeds. Gear pumps usually handle hydraulic fluids or oil. Their bearings are generally lubricated by that substance. If the fluid is non-lubricating, seals are used with some type of external lubrication. Those shaft seals can be either mechanical or packing gland types. The choice depends on the kind of fluid being moved, the pump's design, or the type of service. External gear pumps can operate in either direction without any special modification to the pump. If you look at the shaft's rotation, you can determine an operating pump's suction side. Now just keep in mind this fact. The fluid is being pumped around the outer edges of the gear impellers, not between them. Internal gear pumps are built differently from external ones. They have two gears in mesh with each other. The outer, or external gear, which is of course larger than the internal one, and is called the driver. The internal gear is the driven, or idler gear of the pump. Fluid is trapped between the teeth of these two gears and is then moved to the pump's discharge section. As the two sets of teeth mesh together,